Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to plug the cables into the back of your computer. So let's get started. All right, I have a typical computer here. There are a lot of reasons why you might need to plug the cables into the back of your computer, so I'm going to spare you some of that. I'm hoping that I picked a setup that would be kind of universal enough uh, to cover what most people will have. Sorry for the mess. I know it's a little bit crazy here, but uh, bear with me. Uh, hopefully, I can keep this camera where it is. Um, we'll see. But let's just jump right into it. The first thing we've got here, and I'll go ahead and show that on camera here. So let me go ahead and get that. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to identify the power cable. It's... Uh, here, I've got one here. Leave that. All right. On one end of it, you'll see it's uh, it's keyed. It's uh, it's got three prongs on it, which is also why we call it a three prong cable. But this is a typical PC power cable. It's universal. They have not really changed it. It might be different if you have a laptop, but pretty much every desktop computer, except for some small form stuff, have basically this type of cable. It's fairly straightforward. One end goes in the wall, which I have right here off camera. In fact, I have a little plug here. I'm going to plug that in. And then the other end, we're going to plug into the into this slot right here, which is the three-prong plug on the tower. It's usually located on the bottom or the top of the tower, and it will slide right in. See? Easy as pie. The second thing we're going to do is you'll notice on there's you'll notice there's kind of a power button right here. I don't want to move the camera, but uh, here, let me see. Can I like move that out of the way? Yeah, there's a power switch right there. Uh, keep that in mind. We're going to need to come back to that. For now, I'm going to leave it off. But that right there is a power switch, and we will need to flip that on in order for this to work. So that's the first thing. We've got the power cable, we've got it plugged in. The next thing we're gonna need is the video cable. Now, there are four different kinds of video cables. Uh, the most common one, and the one you'll find on most computers because they're cheap and everywhere, is the standard VGA cable. Uh, it has three rows of pins, uh, fairly typical. And it goes from the computer into the back of your monitor as so. In fact, I'll show you. Now, I don't actually have a uh, VGA port on this computer. Uh, this is kind of an old and dying standard. So I don't have one on here. Um, I can get a converter to convert this DVI plug into VGA to run it over here if I need to. That's a VGA or I'm sorry, that's a DVI to VGA converter. Uh, but if you have an older computer, you have a small plug. In fact, let me pull this monitor here and let me show you what it looks like. If you look over here on the bottom right-hand side, in fact, I want to see if I can get that close enough, you'll see that there's a small blue plug and you see where I'm uh, doing the cable? If you, you as you can see, the VGA plugs right into that small blue plug right there. And then the other end plugs into a small blue plug on the back of your computer. Okay. I should also additionally add, while I'm doing that, that there is a power plug on the back of the monitor. I don't have to plug this one in because I have another one I'm going to do. But if you look right about here... And I don't know if you can see it from that angle. Try to see if I can bring this over. You'll notice that right out where my finger is right there, there's a power cable that's exactly like the one on your computer. You'll want another power. If you have, well, you probably do, but this is power. This is a power cable, just like what's in your computer. You will additionally need a power cable to go into that and then into the wall to power your monitor. So power cable to the computer power cable to the monitor and in earlier computers you're going to go VGA to the computer into the VGA plug into the back of the monitor newer computers 
actually use a newer standard so you'll still you'll still need the power cable going into the monitor but newer computers like the one i have here in this demonstration use something called dvi it's a digital video interface cable and basically it uses a digital signal as opposed to an analog signal which is what the vga cable does now some of you are going to make fun of me because this is an analog dvi cable but let's ignore that particular fact and let's just note that this is a dvi cable this is what basically accommodates most newer computers and it is as easy as plugging into the back of the dvi slot here and plugging into the dvi slot into the back of the monitor which i'll show you let me pull that one more time you'll see that right there i've got a dvi plug if you have the choice between doing a dvi cable like this or a vga cable like the one i just held up a second ago what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go with the dvi cable uh, you can use a vga cable if you don't have any other cables or if for whatever reason maybe it doesn't work or something like that but typically speaking you'll go vga if you have it and then you'll go dvi well, you'll, so you'll go VGA if you need to, and then you'll go DVI because this is a better standard. It can run higher resolutions through it. It's just a better, faster cable. Um, I do want to note uh, two things about this cable. Number one, this is actually one of two kinds of DVI cables you can use. There's another one that has pins all the way across the back here. That's usually the preferred one. In fact, I'll show you on a... Uh, a web browser what a dvi uh dual link cable looks like if you're going out and you're buying cables because you're setting this up for the first time uh you're going to want a dual link cable um typically that's like an older uh single link cable so typically you would get one like what i'm showing on the screen uh it'd be dual link so it'd have this uh this plug connector on both sides and that's typically how you uh connect dvi the third standard for uh connecting a cable to a monitor so you can either do vga dvi which is the preferred method uh hdmi which is like the kind of plug you find on the back of your computer and is also the cable i'm actually going to plug in now because that's the uh the one that goes into the tv capture card i have in fact this actually has dvi on it uh hdmi and display port which is the fourth and final connector so i've actually got all three uh so vga first dvi second hdmi is usually the third and preferred connector that's the one i'm going to actually use on here and then that will get you video i should also add that there is a fourth kind of connector uh that is known as oops not not there okay the uh the fourth the fourth connector which is arguably better than HDMI. Uh, HDMI, of course, being the one you would find that uh, you use on the back of your TV. And it looks like this. Uh, it's keyed. It's like a square connector with a little cutoff on one side of it. This is arguably better than uh, an HDMI connector, uh, depending on which generation you go to. But uh, if you have the capability, the one you really want to do is DisplayPort, because that's literally the best right now uh with a little asterisk uh there are details to that but let's keep it simple so vga if you have it followed by well vga uh first followed by dvi if you have it so same thing one of these uh these white plugs followed by hdmi which is actually what i'm going to connect the back of this computer to and then finally display port because that's the best and the fastest of them and uh same thing it will depend on what connectors you have on the back oh, hold on let's try to stop that uh it'll depend on the connectors you have on the back of your monitor it'll depend on the connectors you have on the back of your computer speaking of which i want to add something real quick while i have the back of this computer out in front and visible here you will notice that there is actually a dvi connector up here uh dvi connectors usually being uh donated or denoted in a kind of white plug like this um this one isn't but that's okay uh this is also a dvi connector in fact um 
ignore what I'm about to say if uh, if you don't want to overcomplicate things. But uh, for those of you who are interested, this is actually a DVI single link cable. This is actually DVI uh, dual link. I happen to have a single link cable for this. Uh, a dual link cable is the one like what I showed you in that or on that web page. Uh, dual link is better than single link. And this is just the built in video card as opposed to the one I added in. Speaking of which, this is important for everybody to know. Uh, you'll notice I've got those two connectors here. I've actually got these connectors here, and then I've got this connector here along with another HDMI here. This is a video card which outputs video, but this is actually also a video card built into the motherboard, and that outputs video too, depending on which conditions are met. Now, if you have both of these, the one you're going to want to use is the one that's down here or off to the side here. Uh, some computers won't have this. They'll just have this blank and they'll just have this, uh, this area up here. In which case, you use these connectors to plug into your uh, monitor. But if you have an additional video card or like an add-on video card, then you're going to connect to these connectors and not these connectors. So, I've got the connector here, the HDMI in. I've got the power plug here plugged in. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to plug in the keyboard and the mouse. In fact, let's push you over here. Let's pull this down. We have here a standard mouse. The mouse cable and keyboard both use a standard called USB. In fact, I'm going to change the light pattern here a little bit. There we go. That should, should make it easier to see. This is a USB cable. It's keyed on one side, and it's, it's pretty universal. A lot of stuff we use these days. So, uh, is uh usb so uh this mouse is usb uh this keyboard is in fact this keyboard is additionally usb uh other things that may be usb include uh like this wireless card right here which eh, we'll just plug that in anyway on the back of your computer there are a number of USB ports, and this is the same whether you have a laptop or a desktop computer. Uh, the slowest of the ports that I have here, because there are different speeds, are these here on the top. The faster ports are typically blue, and then green, and then red, red being the fastest. And depending on the type of device you have, you'll want to use the faster ports. In this case, the slowest ones I have over here towards the top are going to be the slowest, so I'm going to plug in the keyboard and the mouse into these up over here on the top. Now you can't plug, USB only goes in a certain way. So if you try to plug it in and you can't get it to go, what you wanna do is you wanna flip it over because it will go in the other. And as you can see, they just slide right in and that's the keyboard and mouse. So we've got power, We've got video going to the monitor, and then we've got the mouse and the keyboard so that we can uh, type and use the mouse on it. In fact, here's the mouse. Uh, I'm going to set these up here for now. Uh, let's see. Uh, other stuff you may have includes this wireless card right here. Uh, if you have a desktop computer, uh, you may need this to connect to the Internet. So this is the point where you'll plug in any USB peripherals. Uh, I'm going to plug it into the blue ones because although wireless does sometimes need fast, faster ports, this one does not necessarily. Now, this motherboard has a unique thing where it's got USB 3.1, uh, probably Gen 2 or something crazy like that. So it's got the red ports and those are amazingly fast, but not really needed for anything I'm going to connect at the moment. All right, so we've got uh, USB peripheral devices plugged in. I think I've got a webcam uh, that I was going to show you, but since I don't see it at the moment, I don't want to keep drawing this uh, thing. Note that you would just plug the webcam also into the USB port along here. Uh, the one that, Well, we're almost finished, so let's go ahead and pull the next thing. Uh, you may not have this cable. You may be wireless, uh, but if you're not, 
Uh, this would be a good time to plug in your Ethernet cable. Uh, this is the kind of cable that would come off of your internet router that you get from Quest or CenturyLink or uh, Cox Cable or whoever like that. Uh, some people prefer cables because it's better for gaming, lower latency, less drop packets, that sort of thing. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and remove this so you guys can see it. Uh, most computers still do have an ethernet port. Uh, it can also tend to be faster than wireless too. So we're actually going to plug that into this port here. You'll note that an ethernet plug actually just looks a little like an oversized phone plug. In fact, that is exactly what it is. It is literally an oversized phone plug. It uses uh, the same technology too. So we're going to plug that into the Ethernet port. That way we have internet access. In fact, I'll just put that in. All right. Um, could use wireless, but I think I'll just stay with uh, Ethernet cable for internet. Now, let me see. I've got most of the main connectors up. By now, you should have all the usb stuff plugged in let me see if there's anything else that might need to be connected i suppose if you have a uh i suppose if you have multiple monitors going to it at this point you would connect the other display to the back of the computer and you would run that out to the other monitor so you have those connected uh same thing you'll have wanted to connect all the cables to the back of the monitors which i can plug this cable in real quick this won't take me for a second there we go i've got that plugged in and sorry ignore the uh shaky movement i've got a better camera today but i don't necessarily have a better uh mount to put it on so here we've got pretty much everything connected um for the next step, I'm actually going to go ahead and power it up, but I don't need this monitor connected. This monitor is just for display purposes. Uh, the ones I will need are power, video, USB, keyboard, and mouse. And then I guess I can leave the internet cable in, and we're looking good. Uh, the I won't be able to show you specifically because the power button is way over on the front, but I'm going to reach over to the front... And then while I'm doing that, let me switch this over to the uh, signal output so that you can see the uh, so you can see the signal. Assuming all the cables are plugged in, right? Oh, yeah. Here. One last thing. Do, 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 do. Now is a good time to flip that switch I told you about. That way the uh, power is turned on to the computer. So I have flipped that switch. Power is now on. Let's switch to the... Uh, output here or uh there we go all right there it goes now we have video coming out of the computer we have a keyboard and mouse so we can move around the cursor here which as you can see and i've got arrow keys i can use to do that so let me go ahead and kind of uh summarize the rest of this uh power you're going to need on your computer and your monitor you're going to need a video cable to carry video from your computer to the monitor you're going to need a keyboard and a mouse plugged into usb so you can interact with your computer and typically whether it's that oversized phone cable or a wireless card you're going to want something to connect to the internet oh and i will also note one more thing while i'm summarizing it uh if you have pc speakers let me see if i have them here as a matter of fact i do have something that will work all right if you have pc speakers um i use i use the monitors or i use my uh use the uh audio coming from the monitor and that travels through hdmi so don't have to do it but you may also have these cables uh pink and green these go to a pair of headphones or you may have these if you uh if you have like a set of speakers or something like that for the sound uh pink is your microphone green is your audio uh that's your audio out that's what makes the sound so microphone and then headphones or microphone and speaker and these are pretty simple just match them up the uh the pink one here is going to be for the microphone 
and the green one here is going to be for the uh for the headphones or the uh or for the uh speaker depending on what setup you have and that is it that looks pretty good let's go back over here to the capture yep it is working um or at least it's just working is what this computer is supposed to be working uh see if there's anything else i want to note uh no i think that'll do it uh if you don't have this bottom video card then you'll have taken and just connected to these up here first uh, depending on which one you have available. I should also add that there are things like converters and stuff like that. So if you don't have one kind of plug or you have another kind of plug, uh, like for instance, you can convert DVI to VGA and then use a VGA cable, or you can use uh, DVI to HDMI and convert it, stuff like that. You can actually convert cables over to other kinds of cables. In fact, let me go over here to the web browser, like for instance, uh, DVI to, let me see, let's do DVI to VGA. And there we have it, see, uh, VGA on one end, DVI on the other. There are a bunch of different ways to do this. There's a bunch of different cables. Um, Guys, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. I will definitely try to get to those comments and help everyone out, uh, time willing, of course. But I'm hoping that at least in some small part, going through this gives you a pretty good idea of the connections you need to make and the things you need to connect to. Uh, I'll make follow-up videos if I find there's something in particular that people are having trouble with. But once again, I hope this helps those of you who need it. Otherwise, guys, I want you to have a great rest of the day. Uh, happy 2023. Hopefully this is a more awesome year than last year was. Have a great rest of your uh, week.